This dark and dirty market in northern Vietnam is a stark contrast to the bright, pristine, and sterile aisles of a U.S. supermarket. America is supposed to be the modern country, but food is preserved, packaged, and placed in stores across the nation. Most Americans don't know where their food comes from. In third world Vietnam, you can still find an open market where fresh foods are brought in from surrounding family farms. Inside, you can find quality food such as fresh eel, meat, fruit, vegetables, grains, and noodles. Natural spices and fresh produce are also available in abundance. This Vietnamese woman has worked on her family farm her entire life and comes to this store to sell her rice grains. She spends hours each morning sifting through the grains and picking out any damaged or irregular particles by hand. Here, dinner options are most often purchased alive, butchered only after the customer has chosen them. This pig can be any fresher. It is brought in skinned and butchered right on top of this motorcycle. Just as in America, pre-made meals are available to be purchased. But here, they don't even have to get off of their motorcycle. And in poorer countries, nothing is wasted. Animal parts that most Americans might look at with disdain are considered delicacies. Here in this open market in Bac Khan, Vietnam, people from all over the city shop in the morning for food they'll eat tonight. It truly is a farmer's market. There are claims that Vietnam is undergoing a period of modernization, but in this northern region, it is apparent much of the country has not yet caught up. In one way, this might not be such a bad thing. You don't see obesity issues here, and there is no need for preservatives or synthetic chemicals to slow the decomposition of food. It really does make you wonder, in which country do you get the better and fresher food? Reporting from Vietnam, I'm Katie Widener. Reporting from Vietnam, I'm Katie Widener. Reporting from Vietnam, I'm Katie Widener. Reporting from Vietnam, I'm Katie Widener.